guys, welcome back to the kingdom. I hope you guys have had positive and productive weeks this week. So this week I will be showing you guys the sprayed edge that I did and the back defacing that I did for a throne of glass. Last week I showed you guys the front cover that I did, the Selena Sardothian uh, vector that I transferred onto the hard cover. And now I'm gonna show you guys the sprayed edge that I did, which is chains from the time that Selena uh, obviously was a slave uh, and a sword because well it's Selena uh, and then I'm going to show you guys uh, how I did the back which has got this lovely quote and obviously the necklace um, the eye that she wears um, so the, the quote because I don't know if you can read it, it says the quote says libraries were full of ideas possibly the most dangerous weapons of all um, or dangerous of all weapons. Uh, it's one of my favourite quotes in the series because I personally believe that knowledge is power um, and uh, I can I could go on forever but I do do love that quote. In fact this series has some fantastic quotes so when I do the entire series I want to put a quote on the back of each one. Uh, so let's talk about the specific problems I had and specific issues I came up with with this project. So firstly, um, I wanted to draw from the front cover. Um, as you go through, obviously, uh, the series of hardbacks, the front covers uh, all have a similar style. They've all got Selena on the front, or Aileen as she becomes later through the series, um, but they all have a different colour. And I wanted to draw that colour into the sp uh, sprayed edge. Uh, and this, as you can see, has kind of got a bluey, kind of purple um, sort of colour to it. So I went for that for the background. Uh, and then chose to make that stand out with black and silver detail, which I want to keep going. So what I'll end up doing, I think, is keeping to, you know, a bold background colour and then doing detailing in gold, silver and black. That's the plan. Now, as you'll see going into this, the time lapse for this, um, I had a hell of a time with these chains. I don't know what happened. Uh, maybe I missed out a step. Um, but I took a pause between doing the uh, backing uh, purple colour and then applying the stencils. The chain stencils did not adhere to the book at all. It was an absolute mess. I had to go through and do a significant amount of cleanup. I have no idea what happened. Um, I think um, part of the issue was that perhaps the stencils got dirty. Uh, I use sticky vinyl stencils, so obviously if they're not sticky or they get dirty, uh, they don't adhere as well. And um, paint, the paint that I use is quite runny, it's quite thin, highly pigmented, but quite thin. And it will slip through any little gap it can find. So that wasn't great, but I think I managed to clean up pretty well. But back, no trouble at all. I loved doing the back. It was easy and I think it's come out really well. Um, I really like the blue because I think it ties in to the cloak on the front cover. Um, and all in all, I just love the effect of the final product. Anyway, uh, I will stop wittering and I'll jump into the time lapse.
show you guys a close up again. So you've got the sprayed edge with the chains and then you've got the pendant with the quote. Um, yeah, like I said, this was a really fun uh, way to finish the makeover for the book. I did take um, a long break between doing the front and doing the back. Uh, and I also um, I sprayed the whole thing again with an acrylic to seal it, to make sure the paint doesn't chip. Um, that's the thing with putting layers of paint on, um, even though you cure it with a hairdryer, um, which is why you see my hairdryer in there, it actually cures the paint and makes it flexible. You do want to make sure that you seal everything apart from the sprayed edge with a, uh, a clear acrylic, either in matte or gloss. Um, I've chosen matte for this book and I think I'll choose matte for the rest of the series. Um, there are some other projects I've got in mind that are going to have some gloss on it. It just protects it a little bit better. It means that you're not going to have to worry about water damage. And on top of that, it means that um, the paint won't sort of reactivate become wet and then become sticky to the dust jackets because I don't like it when my dust jackets get stuck to my books. Anywho, uh, that's kind of it. Next week, I'm not sure what I'm going to show you guys. Uh, I have done um, some new vector art for um, Air of Fire, so I may jump ahead in the series and show you guys some vector art I've done there, uh, if I can get all the stencils working in time. I've had to order some new material, and obviously with the lockdown situation, it's been a bit um, hit and miss about whether things arrive on time. Um, so I might show you guys that. It's very advanced. It is the most advanced um, vector <laughs> design that I have tried to put on a book. So this could either go really well or it could go extremely badly. I haven't made up my mind which way it's going to go yet. We'll have to see. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so this Air of Fire, um, I also recently bought All the Stars and Teeth, um, I cannot wait to get my teeth into that, however, the book turned up and it is beautiful, I have not seen a book look that beautiful in a while, I am shook, like, amazing, so I'm not going to touch it, so I was going to paint that, but I'm not going to anymore, uh, because it just, it just looks so pretty, um, I don't, I don't, think it needs anything else. Um, another book that's arrived recently is my Fairy Loop March box, The Bone Criers. Again, that's got an astonishing sprayed edge. In fact, I think um, at some point I'll be uh, filming a, a, a haul, a, I'll call it a quarantine haul. It's all the books that I've ordered in quarantine <laughs> um, so that you guys can see just how uh, extensive my collection has become. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, please hit the like button, the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I do book arty things and bookishy things all the time I'm always on the lookout for uh, new books either to paint or for new uh, ideas so um, one of the things I really want to do when quarantine is over is I want to go to charity shops and see if I can give complete book makeovers uh, another thing I want to try and do is see if I can turn a paperback book into a hardback book because um, I love 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 hardback books they are my favorite way to read a book uh, but paperbacks are so much cheaper so if I can turn one into the other I think that would be a really interesting challenge um, so yeah uh, the other book that I have pre-ordered is a, a Ballad of Songbird and Snakes and I also have uh, planned to do a Hunger Games uh, sprayed edge um, and vector art thing in the future so there's all of that good stuff to come i hope you guys have positive and productive weeks and i'll see you next time bye